always want to take healthy ingredients and use them in my cocktails. Allergy season especially has me thinking of this. Once I learned that using local honey helps with seasonal allergies. Because it has trace amounts of the pollen in your surroundings, I started incorporating it more into my food and beverages. It definitely helps that it tastes delicious. I also wanted to kick up the health factors a notch and infuse the honey with nutrition-packed spices like turmeric, black pepper, and ginger. Adding turmeric, pepper, and ginger not only gives the honey a beautiful golden hue, but a lovely elevated taste that is just perfect for a cocktail ingredient. And topping it with some bee pollen granules gives this such a beautiful visual effect and ties the whole drink together. So this week, I will be making some infused golden honey and combining it with some vanilla forward bourbon to make a golden latte cocktail that is just sumptuous. This golden honey recipe goes heavy on turmeric. I prefer to use fresh, but you can also use ground turmeric. Just use much less of it because it is a lot more potent than the fresh kind. Turmeric has been used for centuries to cure all types of ills and is known to be anti-inflammatory as well as being rich in antioxidants. I'm also using fresh ginger instead of dried for this because I like that added spicy kick. Ginger is also great for fighting inflammation in your sinuses due to allergies. Black pepper also brings a little heat, but its main purpose is to aid in the absorption of the turmeric. Cinnamon is also included for its anti-inflammatory properties and of course its delicious flavor. To prepare the honey, I'm first going to prepare the turmeric, but before I do, I'm going to need to put on some gloves because this stuff will stain your hands and is nearly impossible to get out. I'm laying down a paper towel too to avoid staining my cutting board. I'm peeling the fresh turmeric with a teaspoon, which I find to be the most effective way to peel away the bitter skin without losing the flesh. After peeling the turmeric, I will then grate them until I have roughly two and a half tablespoons. For the ginger, I'm going to peel it the same way as the turmeric. Then I will proceed to grate it until I have about two tablespoons worth. After the ginger and turmeric have been peeled and grated, I'm going to crush a few black peppercorns just to help release their oils. Now that our ingredients are prepped, we can go ahead and infuse the honey. I'm simply going to add the ginger, turmeric, black pepper, and cinnamon to a metal bowl, and then place it on top of my pot of hot water, then I'll add my honey. Since honey has a lower boiling point than water, I'm going to heat it using a double boiler so that the honey doesn't boil, or even worse, burn. You will want to make sure the water is not touching the bottom of the metal bowl to avoid overheating the honey. You'll notice that the honey will become looser in texture and will begin to take on a bit more of an orange hue from the turmeric. I kept a close eye on mine and I let it go until the spices became very fragrant, about 10 minutes over low medium heat. To strain this mixture, you will want to work quickly while the honey is still warm and loose. If you wait too long, the honey will firm up again and a good portion of the honey will be stuck to the ginger and turmeric. Since I'm using this to make cocktails, I'm going to thin mine out with a tablespoon of water and pour it right over the blend of aromatics to extract a bit more flavor and also get some of the honey that's stuck to them. To keep up with the medicinal feel of this drink, 
I will also be utilizing lemon. I'll be juicing the whole thing since I will need 3 quarter ounce to make this cocktail. The cocktail that I had in mind for this honey is a mix of a warm weather hot toddy but cold and a gold rush, which is a riff on a bee's knees. Bourbon just felt like the natural fit for this cocktail. It will pair beautifully with the baking spice elements of the honey. I'm going to begin by first cracking my egg on a flat surface and add that egg white to my small tin. And while an egg white is not traditional in a hot toddy or in a gold rush, I like the added creaminess of it. I like that it gives that latte effect with the golden honey. I won't be using gum syrup to stabilize the egg white because the proteins in the infused honey will help support the foam structure. To my large tin, I'm going to add 3 quarter ounce of lemon juice. Next, I'll add 1 ounce of the golden honey. And lastly, I'll add two ounces of bourbon. Since this is an egg white cocktail, I will be adding two small ice cubes to my shaker and shake vigorously until the ice has fully dissolved. Now I'm going to pour the cocktail into my Nick and Nora glass. And just look at that gorgeous color. The turmeric has given it such a pretty yellow hue. For garnish, I'm going to sprinkle on a bit of bee pollen to tie the whole drink together. And here you have it, my golden latte cocktail. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It definitely does not taste like it should be good for you. I was concerned that the flavor of the turmeric would be too strong, but it's really not overpowering at all. That's why I recommend using bourbon, since it's a heartier spirit. It also brings some vanilla flavor to the drink that complements the spices that I used. Even if this drink isn't good for you, I promise you, you will surely feel better after having one or two. I also recommend using that honey for hot toddies or just adding to hot water for a nice pick-me-up when you're feeling under the weather. Thank you all for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers and have a great week.